don't bleach your hair at home, kids. We're gonna get straight back into another hairdresser reacts to someone bleaching their hair again. I'm trying to find videos on people doing home dyes, but all I can really find is a lot of bleach at home stuff. We're gonna jump straight into this. There's a girl. She looks like she's got warm roots. Uh, she's got a little bit of regrowth. She's very blonde on the mid-lengths and ends. So let's just get straight into it and see what she's gonna do. Am I doing this right? No. Thing is, I'm never used to bleach is strong, so like. So this video just jumps straight in to a girl bleaching her roots herself. And she's never used a bleach this strong before. So again, anything 30, 40 volt. She must be using 40 volt to be saying it's strong. We'll find out in a minute because she'll probably be like, my scalp's burning. So if her scalp's burning, we know it's 40 volt. But she's overlapping by about inch and a half, which is what you don't want to do. Do you see us doing it? I'm actually scared because it's actually going to be like light this time. Or it might not be. I might be ginger. That looks right. No? Okay. My scalp's burning so much. Okay, so I've done it on my roots, but like my hair's burning. Okay, so pretty much guaranteed to be 40 volt because if her head's burning that much, it's obviously that. And like, I know it's usually supposed to burn. It's not really usually supposed to burn. You might get a little bit of irritation or a little bit of discomfort, but you won't get a burning sensation. I've bleached my hair at least 10 times. I've only used this bleach before and it's a high lift one, so. That's probably why, but I've never had it hurt this fast. Like, my hair literally feels like someone's got a torch up to it, like, and that probably needs my hair to fall out. She obviously meant a blowtorch. Basically, I've now got all the bleach in my hair, and I'm going to wait 40 minutes to set timer, and I'm just going to go. 40 minutes with 40 volts. She took it through mid-lips and ends as well. So we're pretty much guaranteed for her to lose some hair. She looks for human. <laughs> Look at her. That's literally half my hair. <laughs> half her hair. It's not half your hair, but you don't want to lose hair like that. After brushing my hair, so this does not include everything that fell out in the shower, everything that fell out, just this and there. <laughs> this and there. Just fell out, this and there. Just brushing it, washing it, and then just this and there, just fell out. Everything that fell out, whilst I was brushing my hair, it's literally the same amount as on my fucking head. Basically, it's the next day and the whole... God, look how yellow it is. I've just had my hair up in a bun because it's still been falling out and it was too dry to obviously straighten. But it was so dry that I couldn't wear it down because it just looked disgusting. Sorry, this is what the final colour looks like when I get it okay so I know this isn't in focus but it's so her hair is like blue and yellow looks great that's like a deal but this is the next day and what my hair looks like okay it's really yellow first point um that's because I put this toner in for literally like you just keep that one in for like 40 minutes I think I kept it in for five so I don't know where all these people are getting these 40 minute toners from because we have 20 minute toners, but now we've just got five minute toners. Um, so I don't know what these 40 minute toners, they're obviously, they're just picking up either a high lift tint and they're looking at it and thinking, right, 40 minutes, yep, yeah, I'll do that. Or a colour and they're, and they're going to put it on for 40 minutes and create even more damage. So she left it on for five minutes. You can see her hairline that's really porous and really damaged and some of her ends have already grabbed it made them really cool, and then all of the unhealthy hair, rest of the hair, is yellow. Because I was just, at this point I was crying, I was like, I just wanted to wash my hair and just make sure like all the hair that was falling out was out. Why would you do it at home? That's what I don't get. Why would you do it at home? If you're so attached to your hair, I don't understand why you would even attempt to bleach your hair at home. 
about the colour she just didn't care. So my hair is yellow and not white. First point. First point. Um, but I will fix that at a later stage when my hair gets somewhat healthy er than it is right now. It's not never gonna be healthy again, but um second point is that it is dry and ha oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what people expect. Whacking bleach on all the way through my lengths and ends from your roots um, without putting any protection on or, or even considering your hair's health. It's just mind-blowing. Who would have expected that? Like... <laughs> I love her. <laughs> but yeah, it's super, super dry. So you can see. So one of the, the tests to see if you've got dry hair, your hair should fold like silk. If you were to hold your hair up, it should fold like silk. If it folds like paper, and you have to, to get it to bend, you have to bend it, you need moisture in your hair because it's just so parched that it needs something in there to make to give it a bit more life. So I'm literally not gonna wash it for fucking like three days. I keep putting like leave-in conditioner in it. But it's like, these bits are fun. <sighs> Jesus. So she's not gonna wash it for three days. She's gonna use leave-in conditioner. So what she'll do is she'll just get a build-up of leave-in conditioner and what that will do is just make her hair feel... It's not really going to add any benefit. It might feel a little bit easier to detangle and that sort of thing, but a leave-in conditioner without having the structure in your hair to support it is going to do nothing. So she really needs to get a... I know I talk about it all the time, the bonding system that we use, so four-step system to replenish the hair. So she'll need to shampoo with a good cleanser to remove any build-up in the hair or anything like that, that, that uh, leave-in conditioner for one. And then the second one, she needs to work on her cuticles to make sure they're all sitting flat and, and everything like that. Third one, she needs to completely reconstruct her hair. So inside her hair, mainly on her mid levels to ends, she'll have gaps within her hair that need filling to create strength and structure. And then the last step she'll need to do is pack it with moisture because when she held her hair up like this, and it was just like, it's like, I need a drink. So yeah, if your hair is like that, you just need something full of moisture to replenish your hair. Any advice you need, comment down below. I'll give you it on Instagram, Facebook, contact us, and we'll give you as much advice as you want. Just don't do this. Fine, but it's just, it's just the ends are just disgusting. And I really want to straighten it, so like, it can be like this, but I've got to leave it just dry and all like this. But total hair loss that I have in my hand is... A toupee. Wait, do you see that? It's a lot of hair. It's a hell of a lot of hair to lose. Um, my face says it all really, doesn't it? Don't bleach your hair at home, kids. my fucking hair. God. So yeah, that's her hair all coming out because she wanted to bleach it at home. So just follow the advice I've given in this video. If you like these videos, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. If you see any videos that you think I should react to, pop them down there as well. I'll have a look. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It all helps. And we'll see you on the next one.